In this video, I'm gonna show you how to go from a PDF of dates that looks like this into a beautifully constructed Google Calendar with all the dates marked off in red. If you are a parent or anyone else who has received a schedule that looks like this, it's a PDF, it has the raw dates, and need to go through manually one by one and type those things into Google Calendar, I'm gonna show you in this video a way you can use AI to do it automatically in 10 seconds. Uh, let's dig in. So in this video, we're gonna use relay.app and we're gonna set up an automated workflow that takes in a PDF. It extracts a list of the dates in that PDF and then automatically writes those dates to our Google Calendar. The end result of the workflow we're gonna end up is gonna look like this, but let me delete this and then I can show you how to rebuild it step-by-step step from the beginning. So I'll delete this, I'll delete this, I'll delete this. Okay, so every Relay.app workflow starts with a trigger. And the trigger in this case is gonna be some mechanism by which we get the PDF or whatever file that we wanna analyze. And the easiest way to do this is typically to have a Google Drive folder where you put the stuff. So in this case, I made a demo Google Drive folder for schedules. And you can see that I've uploaded a couple of schedules into that Google Drive folder. I have the, the schedule for my kids preschool and the schedule for the San Francisco Unified School District holidays. And we're gonna be able to use either of these as an individual test run, or you can set it up that it automatically does it every time you add a, a file to this folder. Once we have the uh, PDF set up, the most important step in this workflow is we're gonna use AI to extract from that PDF the list of dates where the school is gonna be closed. Let me show you how, you, how to do that. So in Relay.app, we have a first class feature called AI Extract. And because we're using an image in this case, I'm gonna use GPT-4.0, which is the best model for image extraction use cases like this one. And we're gonna extract information from the file that came in in step one, which is our trigger. And for the output, we want to have a list of dates, which is the list of dates school is closed. And you can see here, we have this list of dates that school is closed that's gonna be output. Then once we have that list of dates that the AI is gonna tell us, we need to go through those dates one by one and create a new event on our calendar for that date. So here, I'm gonna create an iterator. And the iterator is the mechanism that's gonna traverse over that list and do an operation for each date in that list of dates. And so I can select in my iterator the list of dates that school is closed. Then for each date, I want to do a create event step in Google Calendar. I create a demo calendar school schedule for this purpose. You're actually gonna see duplicate events on the calendar I just showed you, but you get the idea. And the title will be of the event will be school closed. These events will be all day events. And the start date of the event will be the date of the current item in this iterator. You can see those two kind of arrows making a little loopy circle there. That's the date we wanna select. The end date is the same day as the start date. And just to differentiate them from the ones I made before, let's make these ones uh, tangerine. And that's all there is to it. If you want to add additional guests, like invite a spouse, for example, you could do that here. In my case, I don't really need to send out an invitation. And so I'll say done. I'll publish this workflow. And then I'm gonna run it. And I'm gonna run it on that same schedule that I showed you before with these dates. So let's look out for August 12th to 16th. Those are the first dates in 2024 when the, when the school is closed. You'll create a test run, which is a one-off run for this particular PDF. You'll start the run and you'll see that the AI is working. It's working on that PDF and trying to extract the list of dates. And this may, this may take a few seconds. So if it takes a while, I'll, I'll speed this up in the video before I post it. And while, while it's working, let me go back to my calendar and scroll back to August. So you'll be able to see them hopefully come in, in I think Tangerine, oh, there we go. Here's the first one. So it looks like the AI is done. And you can see here that the AI has found 35 dates <laughs> when the school has been closed and it's when the school will be closed. And now it's going through each of those one by one and adding them to the calendar. So if I look at my calendar, I can see them popping up 
in, in real time. You can see, yep, it got the August school closure. It got the September Labor Day school closure. It's, uh, it's got Thanksgiving and it's gonna go through the rest of the year and update all the, the dates once it's done. So <laughs> again, if you're a parent with a kid in school, I bet you're gonna use this every single year. Or if as part of your business, you ever get a list of dates that you wanna put on the calendar or a list of line items that you wanna store in your inventory or a list of invoices that you wanna put in your accounting system, you can use this general mechanism for all of them. You put the, full, the PDF into Google Drive folder, you use an AI extraction step to get the list of items you want, and then for each item in the list, you do some automated action. So hope you find that helpful. And as always, if you like this kind of AI and automation content, like, comment, subscribe, and we have lots more coming.